Hi Milky, hope you're okay. Here's your model of your lovely house. It's going to look lovely when it's finished. Right, I've got the axis tool on so you can see all the axes as they are now. Right, if you look at your window, there's obviously a lot of lines everywhere really with respect to yourself. No apologies because we're all, we're all doing our best, aren't we? But what I would like to say is if you just get an axis there, if you just pop that down there, let's say, and just pop it across there like so. And you can see straight away that we've got reds there, although it's not on that face there. But also there's nothing on the outside which says to me straight away that obviously that line isn't quite right. So if we just bang the line there, you can see there where it comes out. Oops. Can you see? The, the walls, the two faces, the inside face and the outside face are not parallel. You, well... Also, and that's similar to the other side because whenever I see a join there that always makes me suspect straight away and I think the reason is that the same thing again if you just grab another axis pop it onto there double click yeah you can see straight away there's a bit of a discrepancy there as well yeah. also I noticed that the wall not not I don't know how you design it or whatever the reasons are for your design but you would assume that the walls would be of the same thickness of which they're not. They obviously are there, but then you've obviously drawn the angle across. Anyway, to cut a long story short, what I'd be inclined to do at this stage is to actually uh, delete it really. Okay, but delete that section, not the whole, uh, not the whole, the whole lot. Like I wouldn't want you to do that. So I'll just pop a few. I'm just popping a few uh, lines across there, like right, so, just to stop that uh, when I delete it out. So I'm going to drag a box across it. Well, that's, first of all, that's a good start. Let's explode it. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just need to redraw them lines back in, so I don't lose your face. Okay. Right. So then I'm going to draw a box across it, and I'll erase that. Okay. Get rid of all the other bits of geometry that we don't need, like so. That looks good to me. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. This is why it's so important, um, and I, I've been there. I know just what this is like. Is that when you overdraw lines you then actually do create a line which then gives something else for the inference engine to snap to and that's what causes the problems. I'm just going to rebuild that just off there using a perpendicular and we'll just pop that there like so let's just make sure I've got the right spot perpendicular off that face let's start again on the red axis of course because I've not changed that <laughs> there we go, that's give us our face back. That's great, right? Then, what I'd be inclined to do, let's just get rid of all this. We don't need all this, really. We don't need that. We don't need that. Okay. Um, we don't even need that, do we? No. That must have fallen that off. No. Okay. Now, that's looking quite good at the moment. What I've been trying to do then is to um, push that up. Let's see whether we've got that. We have. So we get the push, push, push it all. We're going to start again. Start again. Put the marble here. Okay, that's that. That's cool. Now, this is what I'd be inclined to do now. Okay, this, we've now got our floor. Now, to make it a bit more consistent, now I'm not sure what you exactly want, so I don't know, but I'm just assuming that they're all going to be the same thicknesses. Well, your walls are about 400, right? So if we just pop a, um, a measure in, uh, the med tape measure there, I mean, we're not going to get this cock on. It's 39, but that'll do you. You can redo this yourself, I'm sure. Yeah. And if we then select the um, the edges, like so, 
Okay, and then use the offset to pull it to that line there. That's great. That'll give us that point then. Right. But then what we need to do then is just we want to just delete that. We can we can extend the line, but um, I'm just showing you this way so that we can less good. Okay. We're going to come parallel and perpendicular off that line. If I can get it in a minute. Of course, I keep forgetting to the red axis. Now let's just see where we're going because there's two lines here, notice. Let me just delete that one because that's in the way. Right, that's better. There we go, so that's to that point there. And then pull that across to there, like so. Okay, that's great. Erase. And if we just come to the other side, I think there's another line knocking about here. Can you see? Can you see how easy it is to sort of catch that? It's very easy to to pick a line up when you're not zoomed in. Oops, let's just erase that. Let's get rid of that. And then I'm just going to pull that back out again, like so, to there, right? And then I'm going to just uh, get rid of that because I don't want that and I don't want that. So they've all got rid of them, they can't be uh, the infant ends, you won't pick them up. Now we've got that, that should be okay. Then if we just grab our pulley pull tool, that should give us that, which is really nice. And then we can just pull that to there like so, and then we're done. Okay. Uh, and then we can just fill that in if we want to, like so. And then we can just fill that one in. Get rid of that. Erase that. And then now, if we just grab our axis again, just to check the situation, we can just pop that there. And everything's all spot on, isn't it? Yeah. If we want to reset the axis, we can just do that. Reset it, and that goes back to how it was, and then we've got our red and our and our blues and everything all cut on. Then you should be able to just uh, use the offset tool or a rectangle or whatever you want to do. Oops, start again, Phil. Let's start. <laughs> Escape that. Like so. Push pull. And there's your window. Okay? That, that concludes it. I hope that helps you out, Milky. Thanks a lot.